the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. There should not be primordial galaxies. We all know about black holes and how they can devour entire planets. But what if there was an even more sinister force out there? What if there was an object that was pulling entire galaxies towards it? Well, it turns out our greatest fears have come true. But could there be another explanation for this strange phenomenon? Or is the Milky Way truly doomed? Stay tuned to find out. A mysterious force is at play in the shadowy depths of the cosmos. It is slowly pulling entire galaxies, including our Milky Way, towards this great abyss. But what exactly is this force, and could it have major consequences for the entire universe? The expertise of astronomers in space exploration, coupled with cutting-edge technology, has allowed them to make remarkable discoveries. However, this time, their focus shifts beyond the boundaries of our own Milky Way, reaching out into the cosmic expanse in the direction of the Centaurus constellation. In the vast expanse on the opposite side of the Milky Way, the dense disk of our galaxy, teeming with gas, dust and stars, creates a barrier that obscures our view from Earth. Astronomers have aptly named this obstructed region the Zone of Avoidance. Deep within this zone, lies a mysterious entity known as the Great Attractor. Thanks to advancements in X-ray and radio astronomy, scientists have gained the ability to peer into this once inaccessible region, unraveling the secrets hidden within the zone of avoidance. Surprising revelations emerged as scientists delved into the cosmic dynamics. The Milky Way, along with our neighboring Andromeda galaxy, is on a journey toward the center of the local group of galaxies situated in the Virgo cluster. Together, they navigate toward the core of the Laniakea supercluster. At the heart of this vast gravitational pull stands the Great Attractor. Spanning an estimated diameter of about 300 million light years, the Great Attractor's center is approximately 147 million light years away from Earth. Within this region, concealed behind veils of gas and dust, researchers unveiled a massive supercluster of galaxies now identified as the Norma Cluster, initially perceived as a cosmic heavyweight with an estimated mass of about 1,000 trillion solar masses. The Great Attractor underwent a significant reassessment. Scientists engaged in an X-ray study within the clusters in the Zone of Avoidance project made a groundbreaking discovery. The actual number of galaxies within the Great Attractor region was far fewer than previously presumed. Contrary to the initial belief that the Great Attractor possessed over 10 million billion times the mass of the Sun, researchers found that its actual mass was just one-tenth of this original estimate. The majority of the visible galaxies in the region were ascribed to the influence of the Malmquist bias, shedding new light on the true nature of this cosmic enigma. In the vast expanse of space, the challenge rises as the distance increases. Dimmer objects become elusive to detection. Consequently, only the brightest objects capture our attention. This phenomenon leads to a misperception, where we mistakenly associate these brighter objects with closer regions of the sky, creating an illusion of denser galaxy populations. The Great Attractor, in many ways, may be akin to a mirage, presenting an image that doesn't align with reality. It raises the possibility that the Great Attractor might not be a super attractor at all, but rather a region of space where galaxies are more abundant than usual. Interestingly, the mass of the Great Attractor isn't substantial enough to exert the gravitational pull required to draw local clusters of galaxies. This prompts the question, what is the force propelling them toward the center of the Laniakea supercluster? Hey spacers, while you try to resist the pull of the wonders of the universe, 
please take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell button to stay updated on new and awesome space content. And now, on to the superclusters. In their quest for answers, scientists turned their attention to a structure wielding a more formidable gravitational influence, the Shapley supercluster. This colossal assembly comprises around 20 clusters, housing a staggering 8,000 galaxies, and resides approximately 650 million light-years away from Earth. The gravitational might of the Shapley supercluster is immense, boasting a total mass equivalent to 10 million billion solar masses. Situated within a billion light-years from the Milky Way, the Shapley supercluster stands as the most massive formation within this extensive cosmic range. To unravel its secrets, the European Space Agency's Planck satellite has already captured unique images of the central region of the Shapley supercluster, utilizing its ability to scan the sky for the oldest cosmic light. Prominent in the imagery captured by the Planck satellite are the largest pink spots revealing the presence of two galaxy clusters, Abel 3558 on the right and Abel 3562 on the left. Additionally, smaller groups dot the region between these major clusters. As scientists delve deeper into cosmic structures, they've constructed a model that highlights a region situated in the opposite direction from the Shapley supercluster. Within this region, astronomers identified an area of remarkably low density, aptly named the Dipole Repeller. The gravitational influence of the Shapley supercluster is so immense that it exerts a force on celestial bodies, pulling them away from the Dipole Repeller, where gravity's grip is notably weaker. Consequently, the Dipole Repeller likely lacks significant matter density. The interplay between under-dense and over-dense regions of space becomes evident where under-dense regions, like the dipole repeller, exert a push on matter as much as over-dense regions attract it. This interplay contributes to the observed cosmic flow. However, even with the discovery of the colossal Shapley supercluster, the overall gravitational web in the vicinity of the Great Attractor remains perplexing. Professor Matthew Collis from the University of Australia has delved into this cosmic puzzle. Despite factoring in the gravitational forces exerted by the Virgo cluster, the Great Attractor and the Shapley supercluster, there is a discrepancy. In the quest to solve the cosmic velocity puzzle, Professor Collis proposes that our galaxy should be moving at a slower pace, approximately 31 miles per second. He attributes this discrepancy to the presence of mysterious structures concealed behind the Milky Way. One potential candidate that scientists have identified is the Vela supercluster, shrouded behind a dense curtain of dust and gas and located around 850 million light-years from Earth. If confirmed, the Vela supercluster is truly colossal, boasting a diameter of about 370 million light-years and harboring approximately 100,000 galaxies. Each of these galaxies illuminates the cosmic canvas with the brilliance of hundreds of billions of stars. Positioned in the vicinity of the Milky Way, the gravitational influence of the Vela supercluster could hold the key to understanding the variation between the Milky Way's observed speed and the speed dictated by the expanding universe. In the exploration of the zone of avoidance, astronomers have scrutinized 883 galaxies, with a third of them being previously undiscovered. The research, conducted with the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia, has revealed three galaxy concentrations and two new clusters in the zone of avoidance. Each of these galaxies, with an average of 100 billion stars, represents a previously unknown reservoir of mass whose gravitational influence could contribute to the motion of surrounding galaxies. Despite these discoveries, the mystery persists as the Milky Way continues to move at a pace that challenges current gravitational explanations. Scientists are diligently seeking hidden sources of gravity, 
unraveling the complexities of the Milky Way's motion and exploring the dynamics of other galaxies within the local group. One hypothesis to explain the peculiar motion of galaxies, including the Milky Way, is the potential involvement of dark matter. Although invisible, the gravitational influence of dark matter clusters could play a role similar to that of visible matter. Another theoretical force, known as dark flow, is also considered. Dark flow refers to the unexpected motion of galaxy clusters, seemingly influenced by an unknown mass beyond the observable universe. NASA's Goddard spaceflight center scientists identified indications of dark flow through an extensive study using data from the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe and observed that it extends 2.5 billion light years from our solar system toward the great attractor Centaurus and Hydra constellations. This mysterious dark flow is also theorized to be connected to another world within a hypothetical multiverse. According to this theory, our universe originated from a bubble in the primary energy field, and numerous universes might have formed from other bubbles. The gravitational pull of mass from a parallel universe could potentially be causing the observed dark flow. While this idea is subject to ongoing debate, an international team of astronomers conducted a study related to the Great Attractor. They observed the movements of 10,000 galaxies and their clusters within 350 million light years from Earth, tracking their trajectories from 1.5 billion years after the universe's inception to the present day. Based on the study's results, scientists created an interactive model illustrating the movements of celestial bodies, including the Great Attractor, the Virgo Cluster, and the Perseus Pisces Supercluster within a region of 350 million light years from Earth. The model showcases how clusters and individual galaxies move toward the center of attraction. The researchers calculated the future trajectories of these celestial bodies, considering the accelerating expansion of the universe. The interactive simulation covers the period from the early formation of galaxies to a time when the universe will be nearly twice its current age. The simulation suggests that in the next 10 billion years, only a few large mergers will occur in particularly dense clusters. However, we must keep in mind that simulations can be wrong and there is no way of really knowing what will happen in the distant future. Celestial phenomena like the Great Attractor just go to show that we have not even scratched the surface of the universe. It makes us wonder what other mysteries are hidden in the cosmos waiting to be uncovered. There you have it, Spacers. If you are greatly attracted to our channel and content, please don't forget to subscribe and comment and share. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next Space Trek.